go ahead and go ahead and knock that out. You can do it. I believe in you. If nobody else believe in you. YouTube was popping, you know that grinding stopping. Shout out to my notification gang. Don't forget to get that bell ring, man. And hey man, don't forget to like that video. Hey, I wanna uh, come to y'all and tell y'all about the first time I towed with my truck. So just so y'all show y'all my experience with like U-Haul and stuff like that. Just in case any of y'all interested. I thought it would be like playing Grand Theft Auto, but it's nothing like that. Let's hop into it. All right, so this my this my setup right here. It's my truck, 2018 F350 Platinum. I painted that uh, side fender. I feel like it look a lot better, but let's get into the towing. All right, so this the trailer they gave me. I used it to tow. I just bought a, a 442 Cutlass, so if you haven't seen my last video, check that out. I just bought a 442, an 86 Cutlass. T-tops too, T-tops. All right, this is the setup, man. I just wanted to tell y'all the, the process of U-Haul. So U-Haul pretty much, you reserve it with them or you can go there same day and they'll reserve it for you. But they pretty much gave me, uh, uh, I bought this, I had to buy this hitch because I didn't have a hitch. So I bought this hitch right here. My truck dirty. But yeah, I bought this hitch. The hitch was like 30 bucks with the uh, with the adapter and the pin and everything. So they did it. They hooked everything up their self. So that way you kind of not liable for uh, damaging anything. You see, they put the chains on and everything. But yeah, it was a quick process, maybe like a 10, 15 minute process. They kind of, um, they came out, they checked out my truck. They was like, all right, yeah, this is the right one. We're going to give you a two inch drop hitch. And then they hooked it up. I think they went off a factory. My truck does slightly have a lift on it. So you can see it's not really leveled. But once I put the car on there, it kind of like leveled it out. So it, it dropped the truck a little bit. Right now, I think my truck's sitting a little bit lower than it normally does in the back. But that's what I wanted anyways. I kind of want my truck to sit flush you know i don't like the i don't like the raked up look because i'm from uh from the south so but yeah it was an easy process i'm gonna tell you right now going straight and going around curves you just have to make wide turns it did recommend that you go 50 miles per hour but i mean the speed limit here is like 60 so oh 65 sorry so i was doing like 60 65 in between that but i didn't really go over there because this is my first time towing plus i had a valuable car on the, on the back i didn't want to lose the car off the trailer but pretty much you just put this over the tire put this over the tire and then you strap it into this little ratchet strap right here and then in the back they had this right here i just put it on my rear axle sorry about the wind i put this on my rear axle right here just in case those gave out so i put that on the rear axle i probably should have put the one in the front probably should have put this one on my uh on my front sway bar just to hold it just in case the ratchet straps give out but first time doing it rookie mistake learn from my mistakes and don't do the same thing i did but you hook them chains up to your uh your front end so they won't come off and then in order to like when you pull your car up don't open the door with this down this does come down so that comes down like that so that way when you open your when you swing your door out you can get out if you don't you see how high that one is and you see the difference yeah, so you won't be able to open your door with this. You can't open it slightly, but you you won't be able to squeeze out unless you like 110 pounds. So yeah, that just come out like that, put it back like that. Boom. This was easy, man. It was like a hundred dollars. It was only it was a hundred and hundred and forty bucks because I was I'm driving it off in a different location. I picked the car up out of town and I drove it uh, like two hours away, and they gave me two days to do it. So. I feel like for a hundred bucks, you really can't beat that. A full car trailer, I, I didn't want to do the little dolly trailer because it was my first time towing. So I didn't want to, I didn't want the car to detach itself and roll off or something like that. So, and plus I didn't want to uh, mess with the suspension. I'm, I wasn't sure how good the suspension was. So I wanted to make sure I got me a good uh, solid trailer. And also I forgot to tell you about this. This is the ramps right here. Just a ramp on each side. You just push this down, you pull that out. It's pretty easy. All the lights and stuff like that work. That's what that uh, connection at the back is. So all the lights and stuff work. You got tail lights, you got signal lights and all of that. So it's pretty legit, man. Got leaf springs on it. So it kind of keep the, uh, it got its own suspension. So it help your car not to be bouncing around so much because it, had its, it has its own suspension. But yeah, I'll kind of show you my setup on my truck. So on my truck, I got the camera. I got the 360 camera so it's ashy man i gotta replace that camera and the sun glare not helping much at all but yeah i can see the trailer at all times and then i got a 360 view 
So that kind of helped to see, let me see what was back there. And like, I can see the car moving and stuff like that. And when you towing, you want to put your mirrors out. So my mirrors extend, yours might be manual or you might just have a regular truck, whatever, but it, these mirrors do help. They slide all the way out. That way you can see what the trailer got. But this trailer not that big, so you didn't really have to do much. But yeah, man, highly recommend. And if you're scared, that's what I'm just saying. If it was my first time doing it, I didn't want to drive the car. I didn't trust the car to drive it all the way back. So if you're in the same situation, you know, go ahead and go ahead and knock that out. You can do it. I believe in you. If nobody else believes in you. So yeah, let me get this thumbnail and then we'll hop in the car and drop this thing off. I'll show you the drop off process. All right, we at a uh, U-Haul now doing the equipment return. You see they got a sign right there. Can't really see the trailer on the back of the camera flicking. So pretty much dropped it. Said I'm good to go, pull off. I said I don't want to record the game on camera because he didn't give me his uh, permission. Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And you see the trailer back there in the back. He's taking it away. That's it, man. That's the process. It's super easy, super simple. So if you're new to it, oh, I, I do have a trick for y'all, a trick for bagging it up. So apparently my, uh, my dad told me, you know, normally, well, for me, I hold my wheel here. He said, if you if you try to turn it this way and bag it up or whatever, it's gonna go the opposite way. So if you put your hand at the bottom of the steering wheel and then turn it when you're looking back, that, that's the way the trailer will go. So hopefully that tip helps somebody because I was in a small confined space, so it didn't work anyways. The trailer kept kept binding out. So but yeah, man, appreciate y'all for viewing. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.